details which still surround IVF is mind-boggling. As an IVF expert, you would expect that everyone would understand the science behind IVF. They were taking the eggs, adding the sperms, making an embryo and putting it back inside the uterus. But there are still so many old wives tales and in spite of all these years and in spite of a patient's educational status, they still worry about, oh, what are the long-term risks? Will I get breast cancer, ovarian cancer because you're pumping me with all these hormones and won't these hormones have long-term effects and won't I run out of eggs because every time you take out the eggs, my ovary will have fewer eggs and won't I become menopausal faster? And that's why we need a lot of time and energy in explaining to patients the good news is there are no long-term risks, simply because what are we doing? What's not happening in the bedroom, we're doing for five days in the lab, pure and simple. So there's no increased risk of birth defects or abnormal babies or anything else at all. It's also equally important to remember that every month a woman, when she grows follicles, 39 of those follicles die anyway. And that's why women become, when we do IVF, we're only trying to rescue the eggs which should have died. And the good news is these are natural hormones and they all get excreted promptly. So remember, we're not using you as a guinea pig. Millions of IVF babies have been born and it's a safe and effective procedure provided you find a good IVF doctor.